James Nye, a professor at UC San Diego, has been studying bees for decades. He's often a go-to expert on bees. I often get people who ask me about, what about those killer bees, those Africanized bees? And it turns out that these guys are beneficial in the environment for a variety of reasons. Beneficial in the sense that they do better than the European honeybee. They do better than European bees in tropical climates and they are resistant to certain mites that attack other honeybees. But they can still be problematic. Inside Science. The problem with Africanized bees, although they will also pollinate our crops, is they're highly aggressive. And people have probably seen these stories about bees killing people, unfortunately, or at least getting very hurt by being stung. So the question is, why are they so aggressive? What is it in their genetics that actually causes them to want to sting you by the hundreds or the thousands. Typically, people study aggression at a colony level, which makes sense. You go near a colony, the colony gets activated, and the next thing you know, if it's Africanized, you could have thousands of bees chasing you, trying to sting. We need to come up with an individual assay where we have one bee, and we can see how aggressive that bee is, and then, we can look at its genetic makeup to try to see what genes are correlated with that aggression. We take an individual bee and we look at its stinging response and its biting response, typical aggressive behaviors. Scientists say that finding genetic markers of aggression could help beekeepers identify and remove aggressive colonies before they show hostile behavior. So what Felipe is doing is he's using the natural alarm pheromone of a honeybee in this individual assay to see whether or not it triggers aggression and if there's a difference in aggression between European and Africanized bees. Researchers are looking at bees to find which genes are involved in the different aggressive behaviors displayed by bees. Knowing more about a bee's genetic makeup could help breed the perfect bee, one that has the ruggedness of Africanized honeybees but the gentle personalities of European honeybees. According to Nye, there's a strain of Puerto Rican Africanized bees that appear to have both these ideal characteristics. But persuading others to import Africanized bees, even gentler ones and ones that are still good pollinators, isn't easy. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.